The power of branding. Hi, I'm Joel Grimes with another Behind the Lens. And, okay, what is branding? Well, I mean, you could probably go and, and uh, I actually heard a, a talk on branding by an expert. And um, branding is, well, Coca-Cola is the, the, the number one brand in the world. Okay, so that'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Branding is position yourself in the marketplace so that you have um, associated yourself with, uh, like, Coca-Cola, a soft drink, and they're the number one brand in the world because they advertise and they've been doing this for, I don't know, 100 years or so. And so branding is uh, tagging yourself to something in the marketplace so that when someone goes to buy or a service or whatever, you're identified with that brand. So let's talk about photography or being an artist. Uh, Picasso um, was a painter and he had a certain look, right? So when you looked at, in fact, he, he uh, sort of came on the scene with the abstracts and um, he did it very well. And uh, so he was a brand with a certain look. The, the single greatest compliment anyone could give me as a photographer is when they come up to me and say, hey, I saw um, a magazine and I saw a picture in there and I knew that was your picture that you did it before I saw the credit line. That's branding, the power of branding. So I branded a look, the Joel Grimes look, so that someone says, ah, I'm associating that with the name Joel Grimes. Now, um, that's hard to do and it takes time and it doesn't take a rocket science to do that. It just takes time and it takes a, a lot of focus and energy toward doing one thing and repeating it over and over again. So. When, when I talk, and a lot of times when I, in fact, almost every time I get in front of a crowd, I say to people, there's two things that um, I am not, and there's two things that I believe that I have the ability to do, or that's my strength. I'm not a creative genius, and I'm not brilliant, but I have, and here's what I do, is I have a passion for the creative process, and I also work really hard at it. And so those two things, having a passion for the creative process, and I talk about this a lot in my, my uh, lectures, but um, that, that passion gives me the ability to repeat it over and over again, because I get up and I go, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna build this portrait again, and again, the same look, same look, same look. And that hard work ethic allows me to beat it into the ground. So, I take an idea. Let's just look at, if you know my work at all, um, you probably know the three light approach to my sports, my sport edgy light. And I've been doing that for about seven years, maybe a little longer. But I've repeated that look over and over and over and over again so that uh, when people think about sports photography or gritty, edgy kind of, um, especially with the composites, my name pops up. That's because I got in it fairly early and I beat in the ground to the point where I branded myself with a certain look. Now, here's the hard thing about branding. Um, branding um, takes about two to three years in a marketplace. So let's say I decide I want to have a certain look and I want to do, in fact, last weekend I was looking at wet plate uh, photography, the old large format wet plate, you coat the plate and then you, uh, you know, it's the old 1800s process. And there are photographers that are doing that now they're beautiful work, and um, I just happened to look on that. But let's just say I took a look like wet plate photography, and I started to uh, build a body of work with that. It would probably take me to two or three years before I became the wet plate photographer that everyone goes to and says, ah, you know, wet plate portraits, Billy Bob Jones. Um, so it takes a time. It takes a little bit of time to do that. Um, so you can't do it overnight. So if you want to brand yourself in the marketplace, it takes patience in a couple years. Now there's some people that are probably, I would call brilliant, and they might brand themselves, you know, in a shorter amount of time, but for the most average person on the planet, it's gonna take you two to three years to brand yourself. Here's the other thing. A brand, usually when it comes to a look, has a lifetime. There's a shelf life that it's gonna be recognized and popular in the marketplace. So we look at, for example, um, there's been times uh, in the 40 years that I've been doing photo photographs that color was the cat's meow and then black and white was the cat's meow. So black and white became very popular and I was for a long time a sort of a black and white portrait shooter. 
and I rode that for a while. And then all of a sudden, black and white, nobody wanted black and white portraits anymore. It's all color, color, splashy color. And then I think we've gone through sort of like a muted desaturation color look for a couple years now. And then I think we're going to go back to black and white. I don't know, but I think I'm just assuming we're going to shift to do more black and white. I think I see that already. So just a style of color, black and white, has a, a time. It repeats itself over history. So if you look at history, you see that styles come and go. And so sometimes you happen to hit your brand at the right time. So if you say, I'm a black and white photographer and I'm going to brand myself as a black and white photographer and it happens to be a stretch, a 10 year stretch of color, you, uh, you might do well. I mean, in fact, sometimes that's good. You're the only guy on the block doing black and white. And, but the point is, is there's trends that come and go. And so when you brand yourself, sometimes you get, I say, lucky or fortunate that you happen to brand at the right time a certain look. But here's what I would say. In branding something, you say, I want to brand, I want to be a brand, I want to uh, you know, position myself in the marketplace. You have to brand something that fits you. So here's, here's, the, here's the biggest problem that most photographers make, or artists in general, is they try to brand something that's somebody else's brand or someone else's look, someone else's vision. And the problem is, is after about a year of doing the whatever so-and-so photographers look, the new latest fad, you get tired of it. And then you get to doing somebody else's look. And then after a year or so, you get tired. I see so many photographers that come and go. With, they'll be producing a, a body of work. They go, hey, that looks pretty good. And all of a sudden, a year later, they're doing something completely different. And you're thinking, hmm, they never gave that enough time to, to actually sink into the marketplace. And so, but if you do something that fits you, that you love, and you go, this is me, and you do it two to three years, uh, then it, you begin to brand that look. So here's another thing that I tell people. When you brand something, it may only have a seven to 10 year life uh, shelf. So, and I've seen that in 40 years of doing photography. There's been things that come along, looks that come along, or photographers that have come along that become the next greatest thing. And after about seven to 10 years, they, they tend to fade out because that brand almost gets overused. So there's a danger in that. I mean, I say danger, that's just the way the world works. So I know that. I know that it takes two to three years to brand myself and it's gonna be about a 70 year life uh, shelf, shelf life. So I'm not surprised when all of a sudden the phone stops ringing. I've done that. I, uh, prior to doing the look I'm doing now, I did Type 55, Polaroid large format portraits. And I shot eight years, roughly eight years, and it did hundreds, if not thousands, of portraits with my 4x5 camera. And I started doing ad, national ad campaigns uh, with that look, and it became, I came, it had a lot of success with it. But then it came to an end. So that's what happens. And then I had to go and reinvent myself, rebrand myself, get a new look, and then I make a run with that. And the look that I have now today, it's about seven years, maybe eight years going. So what does that tell you? There's gonna be a life to it. So I have to reinvent myself, rebrand myself, but I'm ready for it because I know that's the way the world works. So don't be afraid to say, okay, the look that I've got, it's getting old, I'm ready to start over, build a new body of work, beat into the ground, repeat it over and over again, and pretty soon people will associate you with a certain look, and that's where you want to be. So the power of branding, that's my take on it. I hope that helps. If you want to uh, check out my blog, it's Joel Grimes Workshops, plural, dot com. And I have all sorts of information on there that you can take a look at. Uh, my website is joelgrimes.com. And in fact, I've got my old Type 55, um, some of my images on there under Type 55 uh, category. So take a look at those. And there was about eight, 10 years old, something like that. They're still kind of fun to look at. They're all black and white, by the way. And my Twitter is Joel Grimes Photo. My Facebook is Joel Grimes Photography.